I am here, Radical Feng Shui with Charlene, and I'm talking about each animal. Right now I'm going to talk about the oxen. Now the oxen is the next in line after the rat, which is why I'm dealing with the oxen at the moment. And I'm going to talk a little bit about finances, health and well-being, and relationships. So the oxen has the base element sitting right next to the rat in the north. The oxen has a base element of water, and that coincides well with the water tiger year. Now, the tiger and the ox, um, the tiger really likes the dependability of the oxen born. And for that reason, it's going to be auspicious for finances to, to um, you know, there's this camaraderie, there's this partnership. And so if, if the oxen has got things happening or starting something new, this is a good year to like move forward in that way. Whereas um, last year may not have been a good year for you to do that, whereas more, more so this year. So having said that, um, the oxen, because of the water element, should be very careful in, with their health this year. It's sta they stand to do well, but almost all animals, especially the oxen being base element water, should watch for kidney, urinary tract, anything to do with reproductive organs. Those are the water organs, and they can stand to do a little, um, you know, make sure that those areas in your life are healthy. If you haven't had a checkup in a while, get a checkup get blood work, do those things that, you know, this year is a good time to do that because the water element, not only does it affect kidneys and affect our, you know, our reproductive organs and our bladder, it's also, a, it has the energy of subversive hidden energy. Now that can be sensual, it can be um, subconscious, but it's a good year to kind of delve into the things that maybe we're not kind of wanting to do. So often, you know, going to get health checkups and making sure that we're healthy is not on the top for an ox who's very solid in their way and they're, they can be a little stubborn. So break through that. Now, as far as relationships, that whole magnetism between the tiger and the ox is good for you. You might find a new mate this year. You'll tend to spend more time with family or make sure you do spend more time with family and friends because this is a year to really nurture those relationships. It's, it's a lovely time to to like take all that energy you're going to get in the tiger year and put it towards relationships, whether it's colleagues, whether it's again like your health, or whether it's being with friends, family, and especially you've got that magnetism for attracting a mate in the year of the, of the tiger. So um, I will say that go to my nine part series on my website and you can read all about the tiger and in the predictions you can find out what exact element you are based on your year. I don't remember every one, there's 108. So I'll say that about the tiger. The next animal I will do, um, well, it, the next on the zodiac is the tiger, but we've talked about it. So I'm gonna talk about the rabbit.